know what I'm saying? I don't want to be another young, I don't want to be 50 years old at a BET We Shall Overcome um, Achievement Awards. You know what I'm saying? Uh-uh, not me. You know, I want, when they see me, they know that every day when I'm breathing, it's, it's, it's for us to go farther, you know? Every time I speak, I want the truth to come out. You know what I'm saying? Every time I speak, I want to shiver. You know, I don't want them to be like, they know what I'm going to say because it's polite. They know what I'm going to say. And even if I get in trouble, you know what I'm saying? That ain't that what we're supposed to do. It's, I'm not saying I'm going to rule the world or I'm going to change the world, but I guarantee that I will spark the, the, the brain that will change the world. And that's our job, is to spark somebody else watching us. We, we might not be the ones, but let's not be selfish, and because we're not going to change the world, let's not talk about how we should change it. I don't know how to change it, but I know if I keep talking about how dirty it is out here, somebody's going to clean it up. Tupac Shakur would have turned 49 years old today. Though the rapper was gunned down in September 1996 at just 25 years old at the height of his music career, his influence is still relevant today. Shakur, who was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2017, was a uniquely American figure. Raised in poverty by two former Black Panthers, Tupac pioneered hip hop's celebration of rags to riches success, its poetic lyricism, and its political undercurrents, selling more than 75 million albums worldwide in the process. In honor of Shocker's birthday, USA Today is looking back at Snoop Dogg's tribute to the late rapper at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremony. To Snoop Dogg, Shocker was more than just the greatest rapper of all time. The hip-hop icon took the stage at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremony to pay tribute to his late friend, who was welcomed into the hall Friday nearly 21 years after he was murdered. When I sat down to gather my thoughts about my label mate, my homie, my brother, there's one thought I kept coming back to dot that Tupac was an actual human being, Snoop said. While everyone now thinks of him as some thugged out superhero, Tupac was many things. Strong and vulnerable, hard-headed and intellectual, revolutionary and, oh yeah, don't get it, messed, up, gangsta.